Okay, it's time for some basic MCQs on the cranial nerves. Okay, number one. Which of the following cranial nerves is associated with feeling on the forehead? A. Olfactory B. Trigeminal C. Facial D. Vagus Okay, the answer is B. Trigeminal. But which part? That would be the ophthalmic part. Okay, next one. Which of the following bones makes up the roof of your mouth? The frontal, the mandible, maxilla, or temporal bone? The answer is maxilla. Which of the following facial muscles is most responsible for the facial expression of smiling? Occipito frontalis, risorius, platysma, or buccinator? The answer is risorius. The occipito frontalis is for the forehead wrinkle and the platysma is for frowning and the buccinator is for uh, like a blowfish face blowing out your cheeks okay next one uh, the right common carotid artery is a branch of what artery okay the answer is the brachiocephalic Next question. Name the three parts of the pelvic bone. Okay, the answer is the ilium at the top, the ischium in the back, and the pubis in front. Okay, next one. Okay, a little clinical vignette here. A 23-year-old male is rushed to the emergency room after being involved in a street fight. Physical examination reveals a stab wound at the left sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. Which of the following structures is most likely to have been damaged? A. The pulmonary trunk. B. The right ventricle. C. The left atrium. D. The left ventricle. E, the inferior vena cava. So you have to think about where where the person was stabbed. It said at the left sternal border in the fourth intercostal space. So which of these structures is facing front? Is it the pulmonary trunk? No. Is it the left atrium? No, because that would be... Um, on the other side, posterior. Is it the left ventricle? No, that would be near the bottom. Is it the inferior vena cava? No, too low. Is it the right ventricle? Yes, because that would be facing the front. It is the most anterior portion of the chest. Remember that the bicuspid, bicuspid valve is uh, at the midclavicular region. Next one. The arch of the aorta is found in which of the following divisions of the mediastinum? The superior, the inferior, or the anterior? Superior. Remember that this, the uh, sternal angle decides this. You know, if you know that the superior uh, part of the mediastinum uh, separates uh, the sections. Um, I mean, sort of the sternal angle does, so anything above that would be the superior part. Okay. So what, uh, what would you find in the middle mediastinum? That would be the heart, the roots of the great vessels.
Would you find the lungs? No, because the lungs are not in the mediastinum. Question. Which part of the duodenum would you find the terminal openings of the bile and main pancreatic ducts? Descending, or second part. Okay, next question. Which of the following vessels drains blood from the intestines to the liver? A. Hepatic artery. B. Portal vein. C. Bile duct. D. Hepatic vein. And the answer is B. Portal vein. Next question. What makes up the... Um, portal triad. That is the hepatic artery, the portal vein, and the bile duct. Okay, next question. What relationship does the sciatic nerve have with the piriformis muscle in the gluteal region? I'm talking about where it is. A. The nerve exits inferior to the muscle or B. The nerve exits superior to the muscle. A. The nerve exits inferior to the muscle. Okay, next question. Which of the following fibers are present in the dorsal root ganglion? Sensory or motor? You know, this is... The answer is sensory. Next question. What is the function of the pulmonary arteries? Carries deoxygenated deoxygenated blood to the lungs from the right ventricle of the heart. Next question. Voluntary motor fibers are components of which part of the nervous system? Somatic, sympathetic, or parasympathetic? Somatic. Okay, so those are a few MCQs. More MCQs coming soon. Thanks very much.